cryptography is probably one of the best tools that you can have when it comes to confidentiality and hiding the information away from people who don't need to see it there it can get very uh murky and complicated very fast so we're going to keep it very high level here most of the cryptography that we use is already applied for us when we browse in the inter internet so whenever we go to a banking website or we go to any of our websites really uh that we we hope to have a username and password for it's going to probably have some type of encryption already covering that 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 website and so that so whenever you're typing in your username and then you type in that password it's not just those dots that's popping up there it's actually creating a hash sometimes or sometimes it creates more of a um, a whole layer of gibberish unreadable uh gibberish that someone sniffing a network cannot see and that's encryption so encryption has two types there's a symmetric and then there's asymmetric so symmetric i want you to think of you know like your face you have if you split it in half you have two sides that look very similar if not the same right so i'm not trying to get granular and be um politically correct but it's similar it's both on on each side and so in the case of encryption you need a key to encrypt it but you need that same key to decrypt it so encrypt means i'm going to make something readable and make it unreadable decrypting i'm going to provide the opposite action right well in order to do that in symmetric i need the I need the same key to perform that action in order to get the uh the result of it but in order to reverse it just give me that same key okay asymmetric is going to be two keys well these two keys can provide the same action right so i'm going to take a public key and i'm going to encrypt something and make it unreadable i'm going to take a private key that's mathematically mathematically join with that uh public key and make it readable again okay so in this case we have two different keys but they're mathematically joined okay that's how they come up with these keys in order to have that action happen but it's very this is a perfect way for us to be able to browse the internet and get other people's keys and be able to communicate with them secretly without having to have the same key okay so imagine if you had a if you had to go to each site and then take their symmetric key and then store it onto your computer with all the sites that we visit on a day-to-day -day basis you'll end up filling up your hard drive fairly quickly right well when it comes to asymmetric then the only thing you really need is just a public key and then that site keeps the gets to keep their private key and y'all can communicate secretly okay so that's where asymmetric and symmetric comes into play uh, remember that symmetric we're talking the same key for the one function uh asymmetric we're gonna have we're gonna have two keys but we're gonna provide the same function okay so when it comes to cryptography again as security professionals you don't have to worry about um creating it it's already done really um, unless you're building a website and you need to come up with keys for that. Uh, but nine times out of 10, if you're learning this for the first time, you're probably going to have a team that's already uh, built to handle what we call public key infrastructure in your business. OK, and and so if you have any other options to apply encryption and create that type of um, confidentiality on your data, Take advantage of it and always apply it because you could take something like a a software called wireshark which is a packet sniffer and be able to see uh be able to sniff that network and see those packets go across the network and be able to read anything that's not encrypted you can read it in, <clears throat> excuse me you can read it in plain text whereas if it was encrypted um then it'll come out as that gibberish as i stated to earlier this is the reason why a lot of professionals will tell you to go to use uh, websites that have HTTPS versus HTTP. HTTP is a unsecure, uh, unencrypted way of communicating where HTTPS has that uh, ability to wrap all of that data around in a encryption tunnel. Okay, thank you.